How you doing, fellas? It's Bear with Texas Bushcraft. Um, coming to you for this video is going to be about the heat treating process of those uh, blade blanks that we talked about in the last video. Uh, we're going to go over quite a bit of this stuff here. Hopefully, you uh, you guys can catch on to what's going on, and and it'll help you guys out. Uh, we're going to take this blade blank here, or one of the blade blanks like this, and we're going to heat treat it. And what it, what you're going to end up going over. In this video, we're going to talk about the the coloring for the the, the actual steel when it change when it changes from different tempers. Um, I might actually split this into two different videos, doing the uh, the quenching and the hardening of the steel, and then do the separate video about the uh, the tempering process. It might be a little bit easier to do it that way and a little bit more in depth that way. Um, we're going to go over the, the the heat treating process of these over the next video or two, and then we'll show you the uh, the test for the, the bushcraft or the, uh, the vanguard in the following video after that Just show you how that's going uh, sorry about the noise in the background they're still doing construction on the uh, the buildings in the back back here from the uh, last video they were doing it as well I believe uh, someone out in the parking lot there uh, anyways so we're gonna go over that in this video and hope you guys enjoy it thanks all right, so what we're working on right now is uh, heating up the oil for the quench. And I've got uh, several pieces of steel in here that I've been working on heating up for a little bit. And all I'm gonna do is quench them. And I've got a, a meat thermometer in here in the side and the oil trying, or just to see uh, a rough estimate of what the temperature is. It starts at 140, I wanna get this up to about 100 110 so as soon as the needle starts moving a little bit I'm gonna call that good so I can get these other pieces of steel out of here Hopefully this last piece heats it up enough. There we go, it's up to 140 now, which is hotter than we actually need it to be. Let the steel cool down a little bit and toss it over to the side so it's out of the way. Alright, I'll be right back with you.
All right, so here's what we got, guys. This is the uh, the steel. I've already annealed it, and all that is is uh, heating it up to non-magnetic, so it'll be glowing red. And all you have to do is run a magnet across it, and if it's the magnet feels like it's sticking to it, it's not at that point yet. So uh, you get it to non-magnetic, and then put it into a pile of ash, and let it cool down really slow. Uh, I let this cool down overnight. I did that last night. I did it for all of the blades that I'm going to be in uh, heat treating today. And what that does is it makes the steel really soft. So as you can see, the the file will actually bite into the the steel and you can see it's actually taking chunks of it out. Let's so get this focused here. It's taking some of the steel off the edge. When I harden it, this thing is going this file is going to skate across it and it's going to sound a lot like that. It'll feel like glass going across it, like you're running glass across glass. Uh, so we're going to try to set this camera up so you can see what I'm doing. It's a little bright outside right now, so we'll see what I can All right, show you guys my setup real quick. And here's the setup. So let's see if I can get this to focus and white balance correctly. So in, right here is my forge body. There's my pipe that goes to my blower, which is a hand crank blower. And it's quite loud for me anyway. I'm going to grease it up in a little bit. And then here is my quench tank, which is just a 50 caliber ammo can. It's my anvil. And there's the pile of blade blanks that I'm going to be heat treating today. I've got one in the, in the fire right now, heating up. And there's my charcoal. So we'll, uh, we'll get back to you in a minute whenever I get this piece of steel heated up uh, to temperature and we'll show you what's going on then. Alright fellas, so the blade is up to temp now. We're going to pull this blade, pull the steel out. We'll really find it. As you can see, it doesn't stick at all. All you're seeing on there is scale right now, so we're going to quench this. And you want to go, when you do the quench, you want to go straight in, as straight as possible. And you don't want to, you don't want to wobble the blade side to side. If you want to agitate it, you want to go up and down with it. And the reason you do that is if you go side to side, you have a tendency to cause the blade to warp, the steel to bend. I'm hoping you guys can see this. You can see it's covered in scale and oil now. And what we'll do is we'll get that scale off later on with a wire brush. You can feel it's still pretty hot. So that's probably as cool as it's going to get. It's probably at the probably at the high hundreds, two hundreds range right now. I'm going to toss it into some, a box of sand I have over here and let it cool off the rest of the way. And then I'll be back with you in a little while to show you. Once it cools off to where I can hold it, I'll show you what it, the, uh, the hardening does and show you the file test on it.
All right, guys. So I just uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of what's going on here, my stuff that I've got uh, that I'm using. So this is the forge I built. It's a uh, wash tub, and I cut the grooves in the side there. I cut a hole in the back for the tweer on both ends, and I ran a pipe through there and cut or drilled holes in the pipe to make it so the air will go through underneath the fire. And they're cutting at roughly even intervals all the way down. And the inside is filled with sand, ash, uh, refractory cement, and water. I mixed together until it was a, kind of a clay-like consistency and then just molded it inside. And it's, it's dipped in so that way. And the, the, the cuts in the end here so that way I can lay longer pieces of steel in the fire if I need to and they can hang out. And the pipe comes out from here from the tweer down the end and into my hand crank blower that I have I got it's an old I think 18 1800s uh, champion blower and you can hear it's a little loud right now but that's because I haven't oiled it right lately so uh, and on top it's on top of a little frame that I got it's like a little end table or a coffee table I cut the legs off of it and took the top off of it and just added a board of my own that would kill the link underneath here there's a there's holes drilled in underneath the wood and then there's space underneath here because the air goes in through the bottom and then down the, the end of the tweer. Uh, that's the anvil I made. Uh, it's just a little bucket that I put cement in. I've got two pieces of uh, steel. The top one there is a uh, big four by four inch solid piece of steel and on the bottom is a piece of uh, tubular steel that it sits on. And the, all the bottom is filled with cement, so it'll give it some weight. The thing probably weighs about 75 pounds by itself. And here's my quench tank. It's just a 50 cal ammo container. And we're about to pull this steel out in a second, and I'm gonna quench it, and we're gonna try to handhold this. So give me a second, I'll be right back, and we'll do a close. All right, guys, I'm gonna try to hold this in my left hand while I'm doing this. Let me dig this piece of steel out. Sorry about the bumpiness if it gets a little bit rough here. Alright, so I'm going blade down into the quench. And the quench is just canola oil. It's about a gallon of canola oil in there. You can see it's smoking up. It doesn't smell really bad. It smells kind of like the... If you ever worked at a fast food place, it smells like the deep fryer. agitating it up and down I don't want to go side to side like this because it may warp the blade so you go up and down straight up and down all right and I'm gonna try to get a better view of uh, this uh, file test in just a second as soon as I'm done with this blade I'll pull it out and I'll show you what it looks like uh, after it's heat treated so give me a few moments and I'll be right back all right guys so here's the one I just pulled out come on focus there we go all right let me lock that in place all right so here's the one I just pulled out and you can see it's kind of grimy and scaly looking from the oil and the the scale that it creates in the forge itself and here's one that has not been heat treated yet now when you want, when you do this, you do the file test. You can, I mean, you can feel it grabbing on. I mean, you can. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it'll, it'll actually grab the steel and hold on to it pretty, pretty hard. So that's that one. This is the one I just heat, just uh, quenched, and and I'm pushing significantly harder on this thing, and it's not, it's not grabbing like that one was. It's kind of just skating across and you can see it'll it'll take some of the steel off of it but it's not going to be that much the the file is still harder than the steel itself so that's uh that's that one and I got got one more one more big one to do the one I just showed you and then I'll be working on uh, doing the temper on it so I'll be back in a little while Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, 
did a lot of work on that one. Really hot <laughs> sitting next to that forage for that long, uh, especially out in the heat of Texas as it is. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Like I said, uh, I think I'm going to split this up into two videos. It did take quite a while to do this. I'm pretty sure I've got quite a bit of footage. So I'm going to probably split this into two videos. The first video is going to be about the hardening process. You're going to see me doing all the heating the steel up, getting the forge ready, um, quenching the, the steel and the blades. I'm going to show you, I showed you how to do the, the testing on it. So you're going to be able to see uh, how to test to see if it's hard or not. Um, and in the next video, the second, the video after this one, you're going to see uh, how to do the temper on the, the steel. So we'll go over that in the next video in depth on how that works. Uh, you're going to be able to see on the camera, hopefully on the video it's going to come out, you're going to see the actual color change on the blade itself. You're going to see um, how, how that process works out and how you're going to do it. So, Thanks for all your views, guys. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you can. Join the forum if you, if you get a chance to. It's a good group of guys on there. We do a lot of talking and discussing uh, about different topics on bushcraft and self-reliance. Uh, like, the, like the video and hope to see you guys at the fire. Thanks.